Okay, so on notes 9-3, we're going to be solving equations containing rational exponents. Remember, we just talked about rational exponents. That is an exponent that is a fraction, okay? So there are steps. The first step is to isolate the term containing the rational exponent, which means get it by itself. Then we're going to raise both sides to the power that is the reciprocal of that power that's in the problem. Then we'll get x by itself, so we'll solve for x, and then we'll check for extraneous solutions. Extraneous solutions means when you find your solution, you solve it correctly, you plug it back in, it doesn't work, okay? And then you write your solution. Okay, so let's start with number one. The first thing that I want you to do on these problems is I want you to circle the base of that rational exponent. So the base of that rational exponent is x, so I want you to circle that base and that exponent. Notice that there is nothing else that is circled, or there's nothing else on the left side besides what is circled. So that means that exponent and base is already by itself. So we don't have to do step one. Step two, I'm just going to rewrite this. Step two is to raise it to the reciprocal power to get rid of that rational exponent. So I'm going to raise it to the three-fourths power, because the reciprocal of four-thirds is three-fourths. So when we multiply those together, it just gives us a 1, so we would have x to the first power. And then whatever we do to one side of an equation, we have to do the same exact thing to the other. So I have to raise 16 to the 3 fourths power. We talked about how to evaluate this on Friday, so we're going to change that to a radical. So remember the top is your... Sorry. The top is your exponent... And then the bottom is your index. Okay, so I'm going to evaluate it, changing it to a radical. So I know 16 is going under the radical. My exponent is 3, and my index is 4. So I need to take the fourth root of 16. If you do not know that, we're not using a calculator, so if you do not know that, use factor tree. 2 times 8, 2 times 4, and 2 times 2. We're grouping four of them because we're taking the fourth root. The fourth root of 16 equals 2, but we have to cube it, and so that would give us 8. Okay, so x equals 8. Now, when you are solving with rational exponents, you need to look back at the original. So if I look back at the original, look at that top number of that rational exponent, which would be your exponent part. If that is even, so 2, 4, 6, 8, an even number, you will have a positive and a negative answer. I'm going to show you the reason why in just a few minutes once we check it. So I should have a positive and a negative 8 because you're trying to find all the solutions to this particular problem. Okay? All right, so we're going to check it. So we're going to plug back into the original. So I have x to the 4 thirds needs to equal 16. I'm going to plug that in. So I'm going to plug in an 8. So I'm going to rewrite that as a radical. So I'm going to take the cube root of 8, and then I'm going to raise it to the 4th power. So the cube root of 8 equals 2, but when I raise it to the 4th power, that gives me 16. So that works. If we plug in a negative 8, let's see the reason why it's going to work. The cube root of negative 8 is a negative 2, but if I raise a negative number to an even power, it's going to end up giving me that same answer, which is 16. So that's why if that top number of your original rational exponent is an even, you'll have a positive and a negative answer. So notice both of them worked, so x equals a positive or a negative 8. So you have two answers on that one. All right, let's take a look at number 2. So I want you to circle the base with your rational exponent. Notice the base on this one is just x, not 4. 4 is a coefficient. So I only want you to circle the base with that exponent. Notice the 4 is not circled. I need that base and exponent by itself. So I have to get rid of the 4 before I can get rid of the exponent. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. Then 
And so 108 divided by 4, you're going to get 27. Okay, so now notice I have the base and the exponent by itself. Now I can raise it to that reciprocal power to get rid of that rational exponent. So the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm raising 27 to the 4 thirds. When I multiply these exponents, it just equals 1, 12 over 12, which is 1. So I just have x. And then I need to evaluate 27 to the 4 thirds power. So I'm going to take the cube root, because that's my index, of 27, and then raise it to the fourth power. So cube root of 27, if you don't know it, use factor tree, but cube root of 27 is 3. I'm going to raise it to the fourth power. So I'm going to have 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 would give you 81. Okay, so now let's look back at the original. Notice that top, the top number on your rational exponent is an odd, which means your positive and negative will not work. So no positive and negative answer. Because if I raise something to the third power and it's a negative, it's gonna still give me a negative. If I raise a positive to a, a, a third power, it's gonna give me a positive, okay? So just 81, so let's check it. We have to check for extraneous solutions, which means it doesn't work once you plug it in. So when I'm checking it, I'm plugging it back into the original. So four times, I'm replacing x with 81. So notice my base is this. So I'm just gonna bring down that four and I'm gonna evaluate. So the fourth root of 81 and then I'm going to cube it. All right, so the fourth root of 81, if you don't know it, use factor tree, but that would be 3. So we have 3 cubed. We, have to, we cannot multiply 4 times 3 and then cube that answer. We have to cube the base, which is 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 you get 27, we're times in that by 4, which does give you 108. So that works. So let's look back and see why negative 81 would not work. Notice if you plugged in a negative, you can't take the fourth root of a negative number. We talked about that yesterday. Okay, so that wouldn't work. So only x equals 81 would be your solution. All right, let's look at 3. Again, I want you to circle your base. So our base on this one is 3x. Our exponent is to the 1 half power. So notice on the left side, the 6 is not circled, which means I need to get rid of that before I can get rid of the exponent. So I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. Now, since I have the base and the exponent by itself, I can raise it to the reciprocal power. One half, the reciprocal of one half is two over one, which is the same thing as two. I want you to write two there. So those cancel, I'm just left with the base, three x. And then I'm having to square negative six, which would equal positive 36. So I'm gonna divide by three. back at the original, if that top number is even, it's positive and negative. Since it's odd on this one, we do not have a positive or a negative, a positive and a negative answer. So let's check 12. Okay, so when I plug it in, 3 times 12, we're going to get 36 to the one-half power plus six equals zero. Remember we talked about one-half power, one-third power, one-fourth, you're taking that root. So 36 to the one-half power just means we're taking the square root of 36. The square root of 36 would equal six, 
plus 6, that does not equal 0. So if this is the case, you solve it correctly, you plug it back in and it doesn't work, there is not going to be a solution. So you can use the symbol or write it out. All right, um, number four. So I want you to circle the base with that exponent. So the base is 2x minus 1. The exponent is 3 over 2. We need to get everything away from whatever is circled. Notice we have a negative 3 and a 1. If we had had negative 3x plus 1 equals negative 23, we would have to subtract 1 first. So that's what we will need to do. We can't get rid of the negative 3 yet. We need to subtract 1. And then we're not finished because we have to get rid of that negative 3. We need to get rid of the negative 3 by dividing. So you end up with 2x minus 1 to the 3 halves power equals, that will give you a positive 8. Now since I have the base and the exponent by itself, now I can raise it to the reciprocal power, which is 2 thirds, on both sides of the equation. Those cancel, we're just left with the base, 2x minus 1, and then I'm rewriting 8 to the 2 thirds power. So my index is 3, so I'm going to take the cube root of 8, and then I'm going to square it. I need to evaluate it before I can finish solving for x. The cube root of 8 is 2, but I have to square it, so that will give us 4. So then I'm solving a linear equation from here. I'm going to add 1, 2x equals 5, and then divide, and you get x equals 5 over 2. Leave it as a fraction. It makes it easier to check. Look back at the original. That's a 3 on top, which is odd, so we do not have a positive and a negative answer. So let's plug in 5 over 2. So checking it, notice those cancel, so I just have like left a 5 minus 1 inside parentheses, which is 4. And then I'm going to evaluate this. So I'm going to take the square root of 4 and then cube that answer. So square root of 4 is 2, but then I have to cube it, which would give me 8. That would be negative 24 plus 1, which does equal negative 23. So that is correct. If we had plugged in a negative 5 over 2, that would have ended up with a negative 6 in this part, which would then made that a square root of negative 6, and we can't take the square root of a negative number. That's imaginary. Okay, So x equals 5 over 2. So make sure that you're checking your answer once you have found it. All right, last one. So circle your base with your exponent. So notice that 11 is not circled, so that means we need to get rid of it before we can get rid of the exponent. So subtract 11. So x to the 2 thirds power will equal 16. Now I can get rid of that exponent by raising it to the 3 halves power. I'm just left with x, and then I'm taking the square root of 16, and then I'm cubing it. So the square root of 16 equals 4, but I have to cube it. 4 times 4 times 4 should give you 64. All right, look back at the original, that top number. Notice this time it's even which means you should have a positive and negative answer. So let's 
let's check it and see. So I'm going to rewrite that as a radical, so cube root of 64, and then I'll need to square it. The cube root of 64, if you don't know, use factor tree, it equals 4, but I have to square it, which would be 16 plus 11 does equal 27. So that works. If you plug in the negative, cube root of negative 64 is a negative 4, but when I square it, I still get that 16 there. That's why it's a positive and a negative when that top number is even. So x equals positive or a negative 64. Okay, this is solving equations with rational exponents. Make sure to always check it at the end and make sure that it works out.